Welcome to Cooking Quickies. It's dinner time again. Guess what we're cooking tonight? It's another famous Chinese dish that's called hot and sour soup. It is so common, so I really hate it when it's not authentic. We were eating in some of the restaurant and they didn't make it right, and I'm just like, hello. It's really simple. You just have to get a few pebble right, okay? And I am going to share with you my pebble. How to make this delicious hot and sour soup? So it's actually really just a few ingredients, and you put them all together and make it a pot of soup. So it's not that hard. The hard part is you have to finely chop and slice and julienne all the ingredients. You know what? I actually have a theory that you know, like the old time, our ancestors, they have like several wives or husband, right? I think Chinese men created all the Chinese food recipe, so they make it as hard as possible and justify that they have several wives in the house. What do you think? Gosh, I mean, it doesn't affect the flavor, but then why do you have to have a wife all day long in the kitchen? Hmm? So you can fool around? I don't know. Anyways. Back to the soup. Another thing that most people didn't know that is the hot and sour soup. The hot comes from white pepper, not the chili spicy hot. But of course, if you really prefer the super spicy hot and sour soup, you can always add chili oil in the end. But today we're gonna stick with the authentic recipe. We're gonna use the white pepper to make this hot and sour soup. One of the main ingredients hard to find nowadays is the duck blood tofu thing. So it's like a block of tofu, but it's kind of like dark red, purplish color, and you slice it thinly into the soup. So we use black fungus to replace the duck blood. Or sometimes we can use shiitake mushrooms, or we can put both, like the black fungus and the shiitake mushroom, together in the soup. It all depends on how you like it. What's black fungus? It's actually these little black mushrooms.、Uh, they're crunchy in the taste. They can be bigger or smaller, depends on you know the season and where you get it. And they're both fine. And you just thinly slice them. And when they're in the soup, it's kind of giving a texture, kind of like a jelly, a crunchy jelly kind of thing, if it makes sense. Now let me show you how I prep all the ingredients, starting with carrots. We first thinly slice it, then julienne it real fine. Then we have bamboo shoots. If you can find fresh ones in your local Asian supermarkets, that'll be the best. If not, then those in the vacuum sealed bags are also okay, or the canned ones if you really can't find any of the above. The black fungus. Nowadays, you can find them easily in your local Asian supermarket. They're crunchy but not too much flavor, but super good for your health. For cilantro and green onions, we just need to finely chop them. I decided to also add some shiitake mushrooms, which was the dried shiitake mushrooms, and I soaked them in hot water for about 15 minutes, squeeze them dry, and then thinly slice. For the shredded pork, I like to use the butt and the shoulder cut, but you can also use tenderloin if that's what you like. And most of the time, the original, authentic way to do it, people don't marinate the pork ahead of time. But I kind of like to lightly marinate it with some Chinese rice wine, soy sauce, sesame oil, and some cornstarch, just so that we can bring out the best quality of the flavor and the texture of the pork. I pre-soak the tofu in lightly salted water for about 15 minutes, so when I julienne it. It won't break apart easily, and make sure this is the last ingredients you chop, so you can leave the tofu on the cutting board until you need to use it. So you don't have to move it around and risk breaking it. The pork is ready. Everything is finely cut. So husband, see how lucky you are. One wife get everything done. You're welcome. Let's get started. But for cast iron pan, you always have to heat up the pan first so it's nonstick. When we're heating up the pan, 
I need to, I will, show you another pickle. Have you ever tried to saute、uh, shredded pork or ground pork, and it's so hard to break them apart? All right, you can thank me later. You just add a little bit of cooking oil in the meat right before you're gonna saute it. Stir well. When you put it in the pan, they're gonna break apart like a piece of cake. Now the pan is heated. I'm gonna pour in some oil, and then we're gonna put in the pork, and then putting the carrots and shiitake mushrooms. Give it a little stir, saute for about a minute, and then the bamboo shoot, the black fungus. Again, saute these for about another minute or so, and then you add in the chicken broth. Bring the broth to a boil, then adding the tofu directly from your cutting board, and gently, gently stir and bring it to boil again. After it's boiled, we're gonna. Thicken the soup with cornstarch mix, which is just same equal amount of cornstarch mixed with water. And when you starch, remember you always want to bring it back to the hard boil so you can see the final consistency. After the soup reaches to your desired consistency, is the egg drop time. Since we already made the effort to julienne everything so thin and finely, we don't want big fat. Egg drop to ruin the look of the soup, right? So here I'm gonna teach you how to make this super fine, beautiful egg drop to finish the look of the soup. But the hot sour part is still not yet coming. It's coming, I guarantee you. Just wait, be patient, and bring the soup back to hard boil, and then turn the heat off, and then you create this super fast whirlpool, small but fast circle. And then you slowly add the eggs in while the whirlpool is still going. That's how you make this fine, silky egg drops. And finally, we need to make this soup hot and sour. So here's the thing: if you're cooking something sour and you put vinegar or lemon at the very beginning and let it go through all this heating process, you're gonna lose the sour taste. So what I do is I'm gonna add. The vinegar into the bowl that I'm gonna serve, and the white pepper. This way, you can control how sour and how spicy you want it to be. Ah, I can totally smell the vinegar and the white pepper when the hot soup is poured in. <sighs> smells so good, but it's not done yet. We have to put on some. Cilantro and some green onions to finish the dish, and of course, I have to give it a try. The best part of my job is to try all the food that I make. <laughs> Stir because you have the vinegar and the white pepper underneath. Mmm. Mmm. Ah,、oh, this is so good. If you're a fan of a spicy food, you can totally put chili oil on top of the soup now and enjoy it. But this is perfect for me. All right, I gotta serve dinner to my family now. But don't forget, like always, please like, subscribe, follow, and share. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.